Hey guys, so I want to do a video on a makeup tutorial. Basically, my confirmation is this Sunday, which is just like a celebration type thing that you have if you're Catholic, and it's you go. It's kind of a fancy party and stuff. So I'm gonna be wearing a dress. So I'm gonna show you guys the makeup I'm gonna be doing. So the first thing you want to do is just pin your hair back so it's not in the way. Use any like clip or hair tie, whatever you want. Um, just so you guys can get an idea for the colors I'm using, this is a Victoria's Secret box. This is like, no, okay, this is like mid-tone, so probably right here, it goes like red, like reddish pink and then pink, probably just right in the middle is the color of my dress. So, yeah, just so you guys can get an idea. So... All of the colors I'm going to be using are from Bonneville, which is a drugstore brand, one MAC product, and one or two Ulta products. So, let's just get started. I've got something up on my vanity, which is right next to me, so I'm just going to grab it. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm sitting on my floor because I can't get any good lighting. Okay. So... Everything like fell over and I don't see like anything now. <laughs> this is not good. Sorry. Guys, everything fell. I'm sorry, just give me one sec. This is very unorganized of a video, I'll say. Okay, just grabbing everything. Okay, so sorry for that. That was like really that for video. Okay. So, first what I want to do is, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you don't have any excess makeup in your eyes or in your face. So, I don't wear face makeup really because I have good skin. My skin, I don't have any blemishes. So, I just want to take makeup remover to my eyes because I have my school's makeup on today. But basically, like, even if you're just waking up and you're about to do this tutorial, it calls for a lot, sort of, so you might just want to take off whatever you have on. And not only that, I feel that when you, like, just wipe your eyes first with a little bit of makeup remover, that your makeup seems to go on easier. So I just have a cotton ball and Neutrogena's oil-free eye makeup remover. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to prime my eye with my own homemade eye primer. Just need a little bit. You can use Urban Decay, you can use Too Faced Shadow Insurance, um, but I'm going to go for saving the money and making my own. Let me know in the bottom bar if you guys, or in the comments below, I mean, in the bottom bar. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on how to make this. I've compared it to like um the only one I've used is Urban Decay and I've compared it and it works the exact same so let me know if you guys want a video so you just apply that now I'm going to take my Bonnebelle of course um I'm really sorry I'm going to take my Bonnebelle eyeshadows if I can find them oh they're up here okay with my posh eyeshadow brush i'm going to use the angled one and the bonneville palette i'm using is a quad in cafe classics okay so for any of you guys who have this palette or if you're going to go buy out and buy it or if you're not and you just need a color to compare it to i'm taking this color right here the one that my fingers in okay and i'm just going to cover the brush with that. I'm actually just going to do this eye so I can show you guys the comparison. Which if you see my videos, if you've seen any of my videos, that's normally what I always do. Okay. This lighting is really terrible, guys. I'm sorry. What if I just turn this light off all in all? We'll see. No, I need something. Okay. So 
I'm going to put that. Now I'm going to take the color right above it, that deepest brown color. The third one from the bottom or second from the top. Same brush. Just put that in the crease. Focusing over there. Now I just want to take a cotton ball, a dry one. Wipe off that brush. Wipe off any excess that's on the brush of that dark brown color. And now with this cleaner brush, just blend it in. Okay, now use your finger to clean up any harsh edges that you don't like. I'm very, like, strict about the way I like it. Like, I don't know. I like it to be very clean. Okay. Now, what I'm going to use is, if you guys have Ulta palette, um, let me show you guys what I'm using. I actually got this. Looks like this. The store is open right here. And it has like blushes and face products and then this opens up here it has all these eyeshadows so i'm going to take this eyeshadow part out and show you guys what i'm going to be using i'm sorry for the really bad lighting guys i really am i'll have it better for next video okay so this is what the top part looks like with all these eyeshadows and with this brush it's just a pointed brush i'm going to take this deep purple color right here it's upside down. So if you guys have this palette, I'm taking this color. Okay, so I'm going to take that color on that pointed part of the brush. I'm just going to focus this in the outer corner. And bring it in towards the middle. Okay, now, in this palette comes, sorry, in this palette comes two quads. I'm going to take out this quad right here. So, just take out that smaller quad, and if you don't have this, just keep watching and I'll show you guys which one I'm actually using. Okay, and I've never used this before, so just give me a second, got to unwrap it. It's taped, I wasn't expecting it to be taped. I was expecting it to just be normal where you just open it. Okay, sorry. So, I'm going to be taking this, and I'm going to take this corner color right here. And that is in the color... Flirty. Okay, so it's in the color Flirty. And it's this deep pinky purple. And I'm just going to clean off that original brush, the pointed brush that I used, and take Flirty or any just any color like this I just want to go over that purple color and just take the other side of that brush and sweep it in bring it up into the corner or the crease I mean sorry it looks like that now what I want to do there's eyeshadow all over my laptop is I want to take a color to put up into my brow bone, but I don't want to use something too harsh because this is a very bright dress. <sighs> so I'm actually going to take the color right above flirty. It's like a light pink, and that is in the color sweet. This one right here. Nope. Sorry. Nope. This one. Okay. So I'm just going to take that color on this original brush I used. This only calls for two brushes. You could even use just one if you wanted. So anyway, I'm going to take Sweet. I'm just going to put this on my brow bone. You guys can substitute these colors for anything different. Maybe you want to use like lighter tones. I'm definitely not going to have enough time to finish this video. Anyway, then what you want to do grab your eyelash curler and curl those eyelashes hold it for about six seconds sorry my leg hurts from moving okay this is definitely more than six but anyway i'm just gonna hold it i'm using all my one coat dial up mascara on dial one for starters A very light application. Ok, 
Okay, now I'm going to put the one back in. And we're going to move, move it over to dial two. I'm going to put this from the middle of the lashes to the end. And remember, this is a fancy party and we're going to be taking a lot of pictures. So on a normal school day, I only do um, just dial one. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to move it to dial three. And all I'm going to do is like touch my the very tips of my lashes. all I'm doing. Now, I'm just going to set it back to dial one. Or no, I'm not even going to. I'm just going to take a different mascara, one that's not as harsh. I'm using my Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. And I'm only using this because normally this is a very deep one, except there's not a lot left. So it's not very overpowering. Wipe off the brush pretty much completely. Like, completely wipe it. Get off the tip and just touch my bottom lashes because I really don't like the look of mascara on the bottom lashes. So you're just touching. Okay, now, I don't like the smell of lash stiletto. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't. Now, of course, my eyeliner is in my purse, so I'm just going to grab a different one. I'm sorry. I'm clearly very not prepared for this video. Alright, I'm just going to take my Perfect Point Plus eyeliner. It looks like hold on, I'm using a separate mirror. Okay. Looks like this. Crown. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line very lightly. Now this is in black, but the one I normally use is in pewter. The one I'm going to be using on this day, on Sunday, is my pewter one, because I feel this to be a little harsh. Okay, so it looks like that. You can touch it up however you want. I like that. Okay, now... I'm just going to put a very dusty color on my lips. This is Nivea's Kiss of Moisture, or Kiss of Flavor. Now, normally I would use like a deep lipstick, but I'm actually just going to use this because I'm going to be taking lots of pictures, so I want my lips to be moisturized yet colored. And also my dress is very, like, pinky. So, only a couple coats of this because it does really, like, tint your lips bright red. See what I mean? That's only a couple coats. Okay, I just touch up the edges. And then just fill in those cracks. <laughs> okay. Now, I didn't even wind up using my MAC eyeshadow, so you guys don't have to have expensive MAC products. Like, I just use pretty much all my Ulta stuff. Okay, then I'm just going to take a lipstick. Any shade is good. I'm using this one. I just want to go over it once. Just to add some shine. This is from the Body Shop, and it's in number one. Then I'm just going to take my MAC Lip Gloss in Cocoa Pink. You can substitute this for a non-name brand, or non-expensive um, high-end brand. Just pretty much it's a pure gold called Poco Pink, but it's pure gold. I'm just going to stick this right here. And right there. Okay. Take a Q-tip. Wet it a little bit with, like, anything you want to wet it with. I'm just going to wet it with my spit. <laughs> and just blend it right in the center. Okay, and pretty much that's your look. So with four seconds left, that's look, and I hope you guys really like